National Center of Meteorology, we have we have two type of cloud seeding. The first one through the through the aircraft. So we fly the aircraft beneath the cloud, and we, the aircraft has a modified uh, uh, flares, and that modified flare we burn it. So the soil particles is gonna goes in the updraft of the cloud, and these uh, the, these updraft carry the material to the cloud attached to the rain, small rain droplets. Cloud seeding increase first of all the fresh water uh, on top of that agriculture. The cost for cloud seeding compared to distillation water is, uh, is a ratio between 60 to 1 cent in general, if generally speaking, uh, because we don't consume that much of energies to do the cloud seeding. If we are able to reduce cost, we're gonna have more sustainable future uh, in line with the UAE water security strategy in 2036. The first attempt of UAE cloud seeding was in 1982. Then in 2000, we coordinate with uh, NASA, National Center of Atmospheric and Science in Colorado, and with the Witt Stand uh, University in South Africa. So uh, we did several research flights to investigate the, dy the dynamics and the physics uh, for the cloud affecting UAE to, to find the, the best material that we can use it over UAE so we can benefit from the cloud seeding. As a hub for global research, uh, we have a program called UAE Research Program of Rain Enhancement. That program uh, concentrates on uh, having more research in cloud seeding. Uh, so all the scientists uh, meet uh, in UAE to discuss the cloud seeding, uh, to discuss if there is any more techniques in a cloud seeding or material can be used. Uh, well, cloud seeding offers a safe, cost-effective and environmental friendly way to support the daily water demands of the growing UAE population.